the state government will spend thousands of dollars on a new plan to manage dingoes on Fraser Island. Another fence will be built in the area, but not just to protect tourists. Cathedral Beach's camping ground is popular for its seclusion, but dingoes are spotted regularly and too often tourists feed them. The, uh, the dingoes have been fairly ferocious from what we've heard. The state government's announced a new dingo management strategy. A $350,000 fence will be built around the area, keeping tourists in and wild dogs out. The initiative will also see $84,000 worth of new safety signs. We'll be putting signs throughout all of the entry points to Fraser Island so that people know when they come here for a start they're not to go hand feeding dingoes. Last month a Chinese tourist was bitten on the arm by a dingo. People are uh potentially have the, in their heads that these are domestic dogs that you can just feed and enjoy their company. Unfortunately, they're not. But the strategy isn't just about protecting humans, but the dingoes too. What we want to make sure of is that dingoes are going to be here forevermore into the future. More rangers will also be rostered on during peak holiday periods. That gives us the tools to be able to manage the dingoes effectively and manage the people's behaviour around dingoes. The fence will be up to four kilometres long. It will enclose two camping grounds and a cafe, meaning people can feel safe when they holiday on the island. It's probably a great idea to have a fence around, especially these areas where people congregate. Miranda Cook, 7 News.